Yo, it's cool times, gang gang to my cats, sup to all my ducks. Vlog number two on the way. If you haven't seen the first vlog, crazy, crazy cameos. We had like Gunna, Amine, Aiden Colon, a bunch of people. Andrew Wang was in it, let's go! Guys, if you haven't checked out the vlog, please do that now. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you like these vlogs because nobody else is doing NFT vlogs but the American Sniper, Bradley Cooper of NFTs. But today's gonna be pretty chill. We're gonna grab some merch here from the Cool Cats drop. We're gonna go to the unofficial Cool Cats meetup. Maybe some pudgy penguins later, but let's just get right into the vlog today. All right, so we're here at the Cool Cats event. We're literally picking up the merch here. We've got boxes of Cool Cat merch. We're gonna bring it in here to the gallery. Vinny Hager action, one of ones. Yo, it's cool times. I'm with the man of the hour, Clon Cats. Back in 2015, you were just the cartoonist. Now there's a whole Art Basel, yeah. you know, events scheduled around cool cats. How does this feel? How surreal is it? It's so surreal. Like meeting everybody in real life and just connecting with the community that has formed around cool cats is such a blessing. And I truly love it. So. We got cool pets on the way. We're gonna make this really accessible for a lot of new types of holders. How excited are you for the Cool Pets? What can we expect from the Cool Pets? Can we get some alpha maybe leaked here? I don't know if I can give any alpha, but I'm super excited about Cool Pets. There's a lot of fun stuff coming. And we're, right now we're in the beta test, so uh, we're having people test out the game, making sure each little uh, edge is rounded and it's good to go. So I'm we, super excited. We love the cats, yeah. but we love the pets too. This is my guy Cloncast. You yeah. see the Vinny Hager drip here. Yeah. You see the hat. Vinny. Thanks so much, man. Yeah. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Cool. All right, bro. All right, so the most important thing people forget about NFTs are these are actually brands. So even if this was like a Supreme drop, you see the hype here. This is like a brand, like a streetwear type brand. We got the Cool Cat merch, Basil 21 I just dropped here, picked up. We're trying to sweep the floor, honestly, on these shirts right now. But like I said, this is like a Supreme type brand. right now. So welcome to the future, guys. So I'm here with my guy Kevin, he's the event planner for Cool Cats, and I'm just talking about how like this is a real true and tried brand at this point, it's kind of like Supreme with streetwear. What surprised you about the brand that Cool Cats is becoming? Man, honestly, nothing surprised me, man. I bought Cool Cats at .05 the third day of July, and ever since then, I know we're going to the moon, so I'm really stoked to be on the team and we'll be able to bring a little a flavor to it and, and see what we can do, man. Uh, I love the streetwear brands, Clon do too, and all the whole team, so I'm sure we're gonna just keep stepping it up. Yeah, we got some you know? big drip here, but of course we got the long sleeve hoodie, or the long sleeve here. Not Only bad. 500 of these Only are 500 available. in Miami, yeah, exclusive for Miami. We're gonna get swept quick. He's also got the Cool Cat LA hat. You know. Give us the drop, so talk to us about the LA meetup, the New York, Give us yeah. like the, what's happened yeah, in the yeah. past and what's happened in the future. With Dude, the so kind of, so CCLA was an idea my buddies had. Uh, I never met him before. It was completely like, yo, let's do a meetup for Cool Cats. We did it out in LA and it was super popping. We went to New York after that. It was NFT NYC. My wife sent me there. Uh, OX Beignet and all that ease were kind of my partners and, and doing all that. And that kind of just set up to like the Cool Cats offer me a job. They're like, yo, you throw pretty great events, you know the brand, you understand the brand, and like, well, let's, let's see what else we can do, you know? Yeah, the, the, the friends you make in the metaverse are gonna become your in real life friends. Like, oh yeah, this is my boy right here, oh, we yeah. love the cats. We love the cats, baby, you already know. Thanks, thank you. I'm here with Sarah from Board Ape Salon, a female-led Board Ape derivative project. What can you tell us about? And it's there, right there. So, okay. what can you tell us about the project? Hi, my name is Sarah Stargirl, and I'm the creator of the Board Ape Salon. I started this project in like late June at the same time when I bought my Board Ape. 
Typically, board apes are generally more like male looking. Like I would say the traits aren't very feminine, although I got pretty lucky with this blue dress. So she's basically, as she was as I bought her, but she was bald, she had no hair. So my husband, um, when he got me into the space, he was telling me about how artists make derivatives of projects. And then I was just thinking, oh, you know, as soon as I buy mine, I'm gonna draw hair, I'm gonna make her feminine, and I'm just like, I can do that for other people as well. Thus the boarding salon was born. And I've been working on this just basically ever since I started. I do my coin drops, that's how I um, do my commission slots, and drops of 12. I just sold out my collection number six, so that's pretty cool. And along with the Bordic Salon, I have the new Stargirl Salon, which is where I pre-draw um, feminine apes and then sell those in collection drops as well based on theme and stuff like that. Very bullish on Board Ape Salon, but also very bullish on owning the IP for your NFT. So, Sarah, thanks so much for talking to us. Yeah, absolutely. Happens quick, boys. You buy an NFT about six months ago and then you get the bucket hat, you get the shirt. Fully dripped out, cool cast. Like I said, this is a brand. This isn't just a digital token. This is a brand, streetwear brand. And as you can see, I'm looking a lot better than most people in this NFT space right now. So uh, subscribe, comment. <laughs> Big alpha leak for all my snipers. I'm here with the creators, developers of a great new project, Lucky Ducks. Guys, we're doing something really cool here around Miami. I got my boy Shrimpy UK. I got my boy, introduce yourself. I'm Zero Fishiro, Jeremy. And they're doing something really cool around Miami where they've got a bunch of po-ops you can go treasure hunting for. Talk to, talk to us about that. Around Miami Beach, we got golden duckies, strategically located around Miami Beach. You can find them, you can get the po-op. You can get even in a contest to get uh, whitelisted. There's 10 of them, so good luck get in Miami. Uh, we're going to do LA and London next, but Miami first. Yeah, this is a project you guys are definitely going to want to watch out for. It's definitely got that cat seal of approval. I did peep Cloncast following them on Twitter. I also follow them on Twitter. But it kind of reminded me of like Wallace and Gromit style art. Oh, so yeah. look at these ducks. Really, really cool claymation. I wouldn't mess around with like really awesome art. So these guys are my dudes. And we'll probably get them on uh, the channel here for something longer soon. So definitely watch out for this project, guys. Yo, it's Cool Times, Gang Gang to my cats, self taught my ducks. It's the collaboration you thought you didn't need, but you actually did. It's me, my guy P.O. from Nifty Alpha, and what is up, man? How we doing? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. I see my guy repping Cool Cats. Cool Cats garb, I like it. Um, I'm really? happy to, to finally meet this guy. I've seen his thumbnails. I'm going to check out his content, and allegedly I'm going to be on the channel. But we'll see about that. Soon come, I keep my promises. Um, but yeah, I'm here with my guy from Nippy Alpha. We've been talking to a lot of project creators here at Art Basel, but now I'm really here to try to pick his brain for some alpha. So what's the project that you've been hearing the most about that's impressed you this week? What's the last project that capitulated by 90% to the downside? I bought that one. <laughs> what, what, Whatever what? project literally went to shit this week, I got it. And I'm with my guy Stormy. Oh, Stor I'm with my guy Storms. I want to ask you the same question. What's up, You're an OG collector. Been in this thing since February. So you've seen the life cycle of a bunch of NFTs. What's impressed you this week so much? This week, I mean, we gotta we gotta give some respect to the apes. We're seeing the mutants and the board apes keep rising and maintaining a steady floor. They're almost about to flip punks. As a punk holder myself, it hurts a little bit, but I'm rooting for everyone. So. All right, before we wrap up Art Basel 2021, we got the yachts in the back, we got the buildings in the back, we're in Miami. We gotta send it one more time. We gotta go full degen, and that's why I'm about to head to the Pudgy Penguins party. And it's an open bar, boys, so you know I'm about to send it. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it.
Okay, so I'm with one of the legends in this NFT space, in my opinion, Cool Ethereum. And I just wanted to ask you, as somebody who's been in this space for so long, why penguins? Penguins are cute. Everybody loves penguins. Why not penguins? Don't let that go over your head, what he just said. That's actually a big album. But on a real note, we got one of the biggest collectors here, and he's got his own party here. How surreal is this for you? What are your projects to be on a big stage? It, does, it doesn't even feel real. Like, this entire year has been like one big blur. Like, I'm really humble that like, this is all happening. Like, I'm so grateful. Like, so many people like, helped get me here. Like, I can't sit here and be like, oh, it was me. Like, I did this. Like, no. It was everybody else supporting me. And, like, that's been amazing. My guy Cole's got a big brain. He has the foresight for this whole space. So I want to ask him about what he thinks the NFT space is going to look like for Art Basel 2022. How much bigger is this space going to be? How much bigger are penguins going to be? I think NFTs in general are going to keep growing until like they're seen in everyday life. Like sports tickets, degrees, it's all going to be minted on a blockchain. And uh, as for NFT collectibles and art, like this is just the beginning. And eventually you're going to have digital versions on the metaverse where people come together. You're going to have an art basil in the metaverse. You know, that's where it's going to go. It's going to keep going digital. NFTs are already the, like, the buzz conversation of our basil, especially the penguin. Thanks so much, my guy, Cole, for hopping on with me. You're my boy. Thanks yeah. so much. Okay, so I'm a little starstruck right now, guys. I'm with the Pseudo Sisters, some of the biggest NFT influencers in this space. And I just wanted to ask, come on, you know it's true, but <laughs> I'm flattering them, but I just wanted to ask them because they've been all around Art Basel 2021. What have you guys been most excited about? Projects you've seen, parties you went to, where, what, what, do you, what do you tell us? What have you liked so far? Yeah, you go first. Damn it, why do you want me on the spot? Okay, honestly, this party is pretty lit. Like, I like have yet to see a party where it's like they did a great job really like putting all the different fluffy penguins everywhere, like the music is good. So I would see this party. I would say I would say our own event, we threw like a ladies night uh, live in Miami. And we always do ladies night, it's like a shoot movie like every weekend. So I would say yeah, ladies night, it was fun. We did it at this cabana, uh, Miami, South Beach. And um, yeah, it was nice. We got an interview with people like Spotty, uh, Spotty Wi Fi, uh, Tang uh, We got Jen, Star Sarah, Swiggy, a bunch of people coming out. And just, big, like, big names. Just talking to people and just like. Just name dropping everybody in the NFT space right now. All good though. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys both on the spot right now. The big narrative on Twitter is that the, the punks or the apes are gonna flip the punks yeah. to. What's the narr give me some narratives for the next six months in the NFT space? Specific projects, trends, what do you guys see? Let's, let's predict the future. Honestly, I really do think the apes will flip the punks. Mostly because like punks are slacking, like they're not even doing anything, you know, like getting stuff with their game. And like apes are just like going all in, doing parties, doing mutants, kennel dogs, like they're going in. Larva Labs, watch in. out, this yeah, track coming. Labs, come on.
Alright, we're gonna go have some drinks because it's an open bar and it's gonna get pretty DJ. Let's have some fun. Woo, woo. Okay, so I'm here with my boy Mr. Tubby. We're at the Pudgy Penguins party, open bar. It's gonna get crazy. Yeah, so we have the little Pudgy statue over there. We have the ice statue. We have a lot of people uh, enjoying the times and having a lot of fun. So yeah, just pay back the holders of the project. So. Yeah, so you've been meeting a lot of holders for the first time. Is this the first official Pudgy Penguins party? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. it is. Yeah. So what have you been finding out about some of the holders of Pudgy Penguins that you maybe didn't realize from the Discord? Um, that they're a lot nicer in real life. <laughs> yeah, and they're like really friendly people. A lot of, yeah, a lot of nice people. So. Okay, and we're all about alpha leakage on this channel for the snipers. Can you give us some alpha on Pudgy Penguins like next three to six months? What are we looking at? Yeah, so in December we have the little budgets coming out mid-December, so be on the lookout for that. And then um, we have our eggs that are releasing on Christmas Day, so that's going to be very hype. And we're also making progress on our fishing game. That should be more information should be coming out about that in the next couple months. So, well, you guys know you love those game projects. I love the game projects. Pudgy Penguins game on the way. Eggs on the way. Little Pudgy Penguins. We got everything here at the Pudgy Penguins event. Thanks for inviting me, bro. Yeah, yeah, Appreciate no it. Problem. Yeah, dude. No problem. So I'm with the Cosmic Cowgirls here at the Pudgy Penguins event and I just wanted to ask them about what they're most excited about, their female-led project. That's already mentioned, but some really cool things on the way. What are we excited about most? Cosmic Cowboys in two weeks. So every Cosmic Cowgirl holder is going to get a free Cosmic Cowboy, so we're super excited about that. We're really setting up the ecosystem of our community and our community is amazing, so we're super excited. Yeah, we have a ton of things coming for you guys. Make sure to check out our Discord, Twitter. We have a lot planned for a super hard surprise. I'm super excited for the future. Let me ask you guys, for the people who don't know about Cosmic Calgos, and if you don't know them, definitely follow on Twitter, join that Discord, do all that. But what would people be surprised about the Cosmic Calgos community? What, what should they know? We're so tight-knit. I think yeah. it's like the best community out there, hands down. Like, we're all friends, we're all here for each other. It's such a welcoming place to be here. Yeah. We're really tight-knit, and everyone in there, it's a very light-hearted, fun community. So I think anybody can find a place in there for sure. I guess the only thing I have to do is get a cowboy hat because I'm going to need a cosmic cowboy. I surely need a cosmic cowboy hat. So, uh, yeah, make sure to join uh, the Discord, follow on Twitter. And these girls are amazing. So. Alright, so we literally got the QR code, Pudgy Penguin. I'm literally taking the phone, scanning the QR code. That's next level. Art Basel 2021, day two vlog in the books. Huge interviews. We had Cole Furium, we had Cloncast, but made so many great fat friends. These are my two Blue Cat buddies here, and uh, I think you guys just need to subscribe and like, and then also remember to say, Gang! Gang! Gang. Gang. Gang.